today I want to make a little bandana for my dog um, because I have some extra yarn left over from this project the Jenny grainy square crochet top, but it's not gonna be like a full blown out tutorial just because I already made a full blown out tutorial for the top. Uh, but I will show you the general steps that I'm gonna do. I don't know, I just feel like my dog really needs a matching cute little bandana. Sorry if I sound a little nasally today. I am just battling allergies. Okay, I think I'm going to create like three full granny squares and then like three half granny squares to make like the triangle triangle <laughs> the triangle of like the bandana shape and then i'm gonna add scalloped edging Ooh, and then i brainstormed last night and i think i want to because it's like fruits right like on <laughs> on all of the granny squares i think i want to do like a little cherry tie so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to make my three granny squares i'm going to make them in the same way that i made it for the top oh i'm going to make it actually a little bit smaller so on the top i did four rows uh in total and then i think for this one i'm going to do three instead also i feel like <laughs> whenever i start a crochet project i like I always forget the stitches and stuff and I always need like a little bit of a reference and honestly having my own little <laughs> tutorials really helps because oh, no, now I'm just gonna like pull it up and uh, remind myself because I kind of forgot. <laughs> so I'm gonna make my magic circle and then I'm gonna give myself three chains. I'm doing all double crochets and I'm using um, weight three yarn with a four millimeter hook. Okay, so I did like a bunch of groups of double crochets and chains in between them. And we're gonna slip stitch into my first stitch. And then you gotta like tighten the center so that you start seeing like a perfect little square form. <laughs> okay. Okay, so this is row two done. And then I'm gonna chain three, turn my work, and then go in here like coming back to me. I always have to like get a refresher on every type of stitch before I start using it again. Um, I always just, I don't know, goldfish memory? I don't really know what it is, but even though I crochet like all the time, all day, like I just kind of forget unless it's like the same, I don't know, like five stitch types that I tend to use. I actually don't really make a ton of granny squares, so like that's why I need a little refresher. Okay, I feel like I want to just keep it here. Tiny little squares, granny squares. Um, just cause like he's a smaller dog. I'm sure if you had like a bigger dog, you could make bigger squares. But uh, yeah, I think that she's looking good, right? Mm? <laughs> now where are my scissors? My desk. Uh, is an absolute mess. It looks like a tornado went through it. Yay! Okay, one granny square and done. Several more to go. <laughs> We just got back from our walk, but before I go back to crocheting, I have to make myself a coffee because I forgot to drink coffee this morning, so I'm really cranky. So I have my coffee, um, and I have my yarn and hook. Um, okay, so I've made one granny square so far, and I need to make two more, and then I need to make three triangular granny squares. I suppose it's just half a granny square. It's just like diagonally half um, to like make up sort of the missing parts. Sorry, Teddy is right here as well. Okay, so the plan is we are going to make three granny squares. Square, square, and then square here, 
And then you're gonna have like triangular pieces here, aka like half granny squares to like make a full triangle. <laughs> and then around it, we're gonna do like a scallop border. And then um, I, I'm trying to like figure out what fruits, you know, Teddy really represents, Teddy can be represented by. Um, I'm thinking of doing like three of like the attachments on each of the three full granny squares. I feel like the triangular ones, like it's just gonna be too small. And like, they're mostly just there as filler to complete the shape of it anyways. So I'm not gonna like really worry about putting an attachment on those necessarily, but let me just like finish out all my granny squares before I even start thinking about it. I never really know that I think like a magic ring technically is like I think magic no no magic circle is when you just do this right when you just do the wrap around but then like a magic ring is when you have the ring with like all your like single crochet half double crochet double crochet whatever like around it right i don't know i actually have like no idea how the half ones are made necessarily um i have an idea because i've been you know crocheting these like full granny squares so i think i know how to make it half um but we're really gonna figure it out together so sometimes i'm like i feel like crocheting is not that difficult it's like the act of crocheting and I feel like it's quite relaxing in all honesty, but counting? Apparently I do not know how to count. Like, I don't know, I just lose count so easily and so frequently. And I know you can use like little, like I have the ones that you put on your finger and you just like, but I, like, I can't even count. You think I'm gonna remember to press the button each time? <laughs> I also kind of feel like I'm being a little messy with it because it's just a little bandana for Ted. And like, you know, when it comes to clothes, you should always do um, a little, uh, whatchamacallit, tension swatch, gauge swatch, uh, just so that you can get the actual fit of the garment correct. Um, do I always do a gauge swatch? Mm, I'm feeling overconfident sometimes I do not and like it sometimes works out and it most of the time does not work out but I feel like for you know a little bandana I can just kind of like estimate the size of it and then like I don't have to fit it perfectly it's just the little bandana <laughs> I tried doing a center pull from this uh yarn but it's what I like to call prolapsed <laughs> It just all came out in the center, so I had to have no choice but to do it from the outside But because I'm doing that, it's just rolling all around. I do have a yarn bowl. I don't know where it is <laughs> Okay, so I've made three granny squares and like if what I was explaining design wise didn't make any sense before I hope it makes some more sense now basically, I mean like this is gonna be like the little corner piece and then we're going to attach this guy here. And then we're going to attach this guy here, like that. And then so we have like uh, spaces like right here where we need a little filler triangle and then like a filler triangle and then filler triangle. And then we'll have one big triangle and it'll be a bandana. <laughs> I don't know how to make this half granny square. Thing, but we, you and I, we're gonna figure it out together. Half granny square. Okay, so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off with the same like magic circle spiel. And I think I'm gonna start like the same way and then I'm gonna do two clusters of double crochets. But I'm gonna do like three. So I, so Normally with the granny square, I would count the first chain of like three chains that I make uh, as a double crochet. But in this case, I think it's gonna be like its own separate little thing. And then I'm gonna have like two groups of 
double crochet clusters. We're gonna put like two chains in between that. And then basically to like corners, you wanna do two chains to like make it sharp. And then when you're just going like in between, like on a single edge, <laughs> then you just wanna do like one chain, if that makes sense. So like what I, th I think at least, I might be completely wrong about this. I might completely redo it. However, my theory is that uh, we're gonna have this be like the start of the triangle here and then this two chains is going to be the little corner. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna chain one, I think, and then make one additional double crochet to like even out the sides, if that makes sense. But basically what I mean is that my first like chain of three chains here is gonna be like its own little group of uh, double crochet. And then I'm gonna have my actual clusters and then the two chains represents the corner and then cluster. But then because I have that chain in the beginning, I need to even it out on the other side. So I chained uh, one more after my second cluster and then created an additional double crochet. So like in total, I have the starting chain, three chains, and then I have three double crochets, two chains, three double crochets, one chain, and then one double crochet. So I think that's what I'm gonna do for now. And then I'm gonna give myself Three, turn my work. And then I'm gonna go into the chain one space here. And then I think I'm just gonna chain one. And I'm gonna go into the corner, so the chain two space. And then I'm gonna do two clusters of three double crochets. So this is my first cluster. And then again, because I'm making a corner here, I'm gonna chain two and then go back into the chain space and create a, an additional cluster of three. Okay, yeah. And then into my chain space here, I'm gonna do a cluster, two, three, and then I'm gonna chain one and then put another double crochet into that space. So like probably is a better way to make this because I'm just kind of like guessing in all honesty. <laughs> um, but you know, you're here for the ride. So, all right. And okay, yeah, no, I think, I think it's triangular. I think we're, we're on a good track. Okay, I'm gonna go back into that chain space and then create yet another group of double crochets. And then chain one, because I'm go just going up this edge. Chain one, and then we're into the corner, so we're gonna create two groups of double crochets. And then two for the corner. Oh yeah, she's like definitely looking like a half Granny Square. I think I did a pretty good job. Okay, and I think I'm gonna finish it off by doing chain one and then one additional double crochet in there just to like even it out symmetry, you know? Wait, wait. <laughs> Pat myself on the back for that one. That was great. Okay, do we see her? Yes. Okay, so like, you know, conceptually, we're working with this, right? I don't know if the right edges are out or right sides are out, but you know, we're gonna make it. And then we put the, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's gonna look so cute. Okay, I feel like this is a better visual of like what I was saying, but like basically I have these three granny squares here. And then uh, I have these three triangular pieces that kind of fill in the empty gaps. And then I'm going to go ahead and use my red yarn to uh, attach all of my squares together and then make the scalloped border edge. 
Um, and I still have not decided what I want to do for the little fruits. Okay, so I think we're basically done with the bandana bandana. Huh? Huh? Don't look at, don't look at the back. Don't look at my unweaved in ends, but look at her. Oh my gosh, she is like exactly what I imagined. I also kind of like how the scalloped edge on top of the triangles kind of makes it look like a little heart. I think it's pretty cute. Daddy, come here. Oh, good boy. I think I'm gonna take a break from it tonight, mostly because, again, I have such a short attention span when it comes to projects, and like, all I wanna do is work on my other projects right now, honestly. So I'm gonna do that and uh, finish it off tomorrow. But the last thing we have to do is make sure that it actually fits around said model. I, I need to add like the little cherry tie on portion it's like kind of choking him right now but oh my gosh hey look at the camera okay, hold on. <gasps> you can see it <gasps> take a look <laughs> so we have the bandana almost ready i was thinking about it and i think that the grapes would be too big for like each square um the seven I think would also be too big for the top uh, and the scalloping and the edge and like the cherry as well. It's like this deeper red, whereas for the straw, for the strawberry, it's like this brighter red. What, what tone am I? Am I a winter? Am I a summer? <laughs> but anyways, um, yeah, based on my laziness and, um, <laughs> who I am as a person, I think I'm going to do, I think I'm gonna do two strawberries, like one for each of these squares, and then a cherry, and then that way it kind of ties together with the cherry tie detail. Hello, yay. Okay, I forgot to film it. <laughs> However, I finished both of my teeny tiny strawberries and they fit so well on the little granny squares. See, they're like not overwhelming the granny square. Ah, oh, it's so cute. Okay, and then, and then I made my little cherries. And then the cherry is gonna go boop on the granny square right there. Ah, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna attach everything. I'm gonna make, I'm gonna finish up the little cherry tie and then I'll come back in for the reveal. Daddy. Good boy. 